Oh yeah. Almost to the end, folks, of the big O Oregon Trail. Good to see you all back. We're going to be listening to some SnowRunner music as we get on going with the trail. Whoa, what's going on? Holy crap. Whoa. Oh. Brown, 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 brown. I see your $2 and raise you to $5. Oh, right. Uh, Daniel, thanks for the two saying, first super chat to kick off the stream. Yeah! And then, of course, Aug with the five. ICO2 raised to five. Thank you very much. And Cynthia with the two as well. Thanks to all you guys for all the big O super chats. Welcome to all the new members. Thanks for all the member milestones and more. We are about almost to the end here. We got like one small little journey to do to get to Fort, I forgot, I think it's Fort Hall. And then we've got a hole across uh, the remaining areas to Oregon. Now, if we beat this tonight, as in the original, like, trek of Oregon Trail. There's still a lot of other adventures we can go on, and also new people to unlock, so this definitely is a game where you want to play this more than once. So if we happen to beat it tonight, we'll be doing a lot more, but we're going to get into some voice acting right now. We're going to have some fun, so smash like for luck for our survivors, our pioneers, our settlers as they make their way west. Closer, one step at a time to Oregon. The game's been a surprising amount of fun, too, by the way, So, uh, and it's on Steam now. By the way, Steam, I don't think this game's on sale, but Steam is having a big O Steam sale right now, and it'll probably last, um, I would imagine, till the end of November, so um, go ahead and make sure you add a bunch of stuff to your wish list, and any games that you've seen on the channel that you've taken a little bit of interest to, make sure you go ahead and uh, pick those up ASAP for a little big O sale. Steam probably has its best sales in the summer and in the, uh, you know, just around Christmas time, but still, there's a hell of a lot of games to get that are good at any time, including SnowRunner, which is the soundtrack we're listening to now. All right. Oh, wow. Daniel with another big O10. A five, I double it. Get the Super Chat train a rolling. Yeah, and the, the, yeah, the Super Chat wagon train a rolling. Oh, boy. Support's rolling in. Thank you very much, everybody, for the, all the big O super chats. Welcome to all the new members. I love it. Chad is as excited as I am. And we started Valheim again today earlier, which now has its um, Mistlands update out. So. I double it. Yeah. Get the super chat train rolling. Yeah, let that train roll, brother. Yeah. All right, cool. It's going. You missed the answer in the last stream. What was the name of the troll? Oh, I don't know. We'll have to figure that out, the name of the uh, of the uh, troll for Valheim. We'll figure that out. We'll keep them alive. By the way, speaking of names, do you guys remember we actually ended the last Oregon Trail stream uh, with a murder mystery? We solved the... Um, there was one of the... Um, uh, we came across one of the Dragoons who were heading west as well to Oregon, the Oregon Dragoons, and we like had to solve a murder mystery. And chat, we did a damn good job. Everybody uh, did a fantastic job in pinning who that was on the murder. So, yeah, that's true. We got to get over the Rockies now, so we better get to it. Also, what is this? We're, we're only like 11% through the game. Oh, I'm assuming there's probably tons of stuff to find, which is cool because each time you take a trip, you can like discover different animals and stuff and like jot them down and like discover them for the first time. People were just kind of finding out what was in the wilderness. Wow, we've already been playing this for eight hours. Dude, the first leg of the journey is just like eight hours. Or over eight hours when you play. You've unlocked a new journey. Kaboom! Cross the harsh desert in pursuit of riches as a group attempts to carry as much ammunition to Fort Hall as possible before it explodes. Successful completion unlocks the harmonica item and the carpenter class. Oh. Maybe that means we can buy it from the store now or something. That's actually kind of a short journey. That's only two, two legs of the journey. Oregon Trail's going all the way. We're about here now. Oh, so we, we have two more legs to go then. Yeah. Oh, over the Rockies and then into Oregon itself. All right. This is what's cool. This is what I really like about this is that there's these challenge modes that are like these little story modes. So even if we do this, there's still like wagon trains that aren't going the whole way to Oregon, but they're like transporting stuff and supplies westward to the forts and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. We got it. We got to do that one. We'll, we'll do that later. We've unlocked a lot of other journeys, though. Cool stuff. Was this like informational stuff? 
Well, let's get to it. Let's get back on the trail. Resume. Oh, we're only 57% of the way there. All right, here we go. Wait a minute. Danny K with the 20. I raise your 10 and go for 20. Wow. Danny K with the big O20. Thank you, dude. Thank you guys for all the big O support. That's a big O10-4, brother. We're going to use all that to, uh, to buy supplies at the, at, the, uh, at the fort. Let's go. Oregon Trail. Uh, duration five legs. Difficulty adventure. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, chat. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wow. I'll raise your 10 euros bucks. Go for repertory. Ah. Uh -uh. Ah. Thank you very much, dude. Experience the trials and tribulations of the Oregon Trail. Draft a party. Pick your wagon and set out from independence for the promise of Oregon. Objective, reach Oregon. We unlock a grandfather clock and the Oregon or bus journey. I wonder if that's another scenario, like where we have to transport that. We've seen that before. I really want to know what that is. All right, back on the trail we go. Which one of the super chatters gets named in the game will dive dysentery? I'm not sure. We made it to Soda Springs last time, though. This is where we are now. All right. And we got some stanky stank, so let's figure it out. Let's get going. All right, let's start chatting. The travelers here are cle clearly aren't shy about uh, trying the famous bubbling spring water. Almost everybody inside has a bottle or cup in hand. Hot with Jane. Hello again, travelers. It certainly is amazing how often we meet on the trail. My little Mary has not stopped talking about you folks since we last met. You really left an impression on her. She keeps asking questions about your group, but I have no... I have to keep telling her I don't know. Perhaps you'll take the time to talk to her. I could use a quiet moment to catch up on some reading. She's just down by the water. Don't worry, I've been keeping an eye on her to make sure she doesn't run off again. Jane points to the spring wall. Little Mary is playfully splashing in the shallows. Let's talk to Little Mary. Hi, everyone. Mommy said I might see you again. Did you come to play with me in the water, too? Uh, yes, we did. We better wash them clothes. Yay, it's fun. You'll see. Mommy says you can use the water here to make a special drink. Can you show me how? Little Mary jumps and splashes in the spring with joy, spraying the group with water. Sure. We're going to make some Kool-Aid. Uh, the... Party spends some time showing Little Mary how to make a carbonated drink from spring water. Little Mary's easy, uh, eager to take a big gulp of the effervescent beverage. <laughs> hee hee. Wow, this is so good. The bubbles tickle my throat. Yeah, that's carbonation for you. Little Mary drinks the beverage uh, with speed and ele electricity before uh, befitting someone twice her size. It isn't long before she begins to hiccup. My tummy feels funny. Uh, she clutches her stomach moments past as she struggles against the inevitable. Oh, she burped. Don't tell mommy I did that. She'll be upset about my bad manners. Little Mary frantically apologizes for her belch, looking thoroughly embarrassed. Oh, you're fine. Nobody died. And that's what I was, thought was about to happen. Charles. Water here is naturally carbonated, may, meaning um, it's got bubbles in it. Try mixing it with a drink or two of your own. Make a drink. Ooh, mood increased. Party pours some of the spring water into their canteens, mixing it with drinks of their own to make a delicious soda. A Minnesota? Uh, let's do Celinda Hines. My, the soda springs are so pretty. Seemed to spout at regular intervals, felt good to just rest and not be jostled in the wagon all day. When I get to Oregon, I'll have a soft feather bed and never sleep in a wagon again. Miles Hendricks. I heard it said that there are many a cutoff to take to shorten the journey. That by taking all the shortcuts, you can save many days on the trail. And why not? Saving time or provisions is worth the risk. Hmm. Okay. Young man. My job every day is to find wood for the cook fire. Sometimes it's very hard to find enough. So I store extra pieces in a box under the wagon. The prairie I gathered buffalo chips to burn when there wasn't any wood. Buffalo chips. Ride buffalo you know what. Let's trade. It appears some people are willing to trade with you. What should be done? Uh let's trade. 
Let's just talk everybody down. Three toolboxes. I'm going to haggle that. Stop it, sir. You're making me blush. Barbsy still got it. Uh, let's trade six bullets. I think we've got like over 60 rounds of ammunition. Yeah. 67 rounds. Pleasure doing business, brother. Amen. Okay, so let's take a look at the inventory before we trade more. Uh, okay, we got three more toolboxes to trade. Uh-oh. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of repairs. This wagon's starting to get beat up. Also, we have a lot of dragoons, but... Uh, I'm gonna hold on to him for a bit. Offers three coffee. 17 toolboxes? Holy crap. Wow, coffee is like super powerful. Try to talk her down. Stop it, sir. You're making me blush. 10 toolboxes. Wow. Or 192 flour. I don't know about either of those, honestly. I can trade you, like, a billion harmonicas. All right, we'll come back to her. We'll come back to her. Let's chat with the other guy. Do medicine. Yeah, those are no lays. Those buffalo chips are not no lays. Stop it, sir. You're making me blush. Hmm. I want to trade these dragon... Dragoon medallions, but... I don't know if there'll be, like, some sort of a special store or something to spend them at later. But honestly, let's trade the bullets, because if I can clear that out of storage, that'll make a little bit of space. And medicine's probably a good thing to have. Because we only had two, yeah. Yeah, we have some wagon grease, yep. That's a good item. True. Well, let's chat with the lady about clothing. Do we have clothes? Actually, we could probably use the clothes right away, so that would be a good thing. We don't need to store that. We'll just use it right away. Tangle. Barbecue, go. Brother, yeah. Brother, brother, yeah, yeah. If you have all ten Dragoon medallions at the end, you'll get a special flag. Oh, good. Then we'll have... Hold on to those. Uh, 42 flour. I think we had 46. Okay. I'll trade that, ma'am. And let's look at the party. Two people with shtank. Oh, we can't use it here? Oh, that's kind of weird. And we'll, uh... Put it there, that's fine. Bum, 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 bum. Skyrim or Valheim? I haven't really played too much of Skyrim in a while, but I like the building of Valheim, so... Well, we'll be playing that again tomorrow, so I guess I'll say that. Oh, this is weird, because we have two clothes, and the moment we roll out of Soda Springs, we're going to use those, so we're going to have two inventory spaces regardless. Uh, let's see. And the coffee lady. Hey, what's up, Jerry? How you doing, man? You wanted 30 bullets or 10 toolboxes? Nah, the coffee's good, but not that good. Like, not worth the trade. Sell pelts and fish, we have none. Just use them before you leave and don't waste anything? Well, I'd like to, but the, there's a padlock which won't let me... Oh, now I can. There we go. Thank goodness. I really wish I could have the coffee, though, but... Honestly, you can leave, and then, like, it'll ask you to discard the item, and you can use it while you're outside the thing. All right, this is a really short trip to Fort Hall, and then we're on, like, four or five. So after this, we're crossing the Rockies. Like, once we hit Fort Hall, then it's, like, bad times. Oh, boy. Gotta go for the Rockies. We gotta taste the Rockies. 
brother, yeah. Well, don't want any more coffee, so we may as well uh, roll out. How are we doing on, um, actually, do we need to rest? Stamina 2, yeah, we had somebody exhausted, right? Yeah. He's always exhausted, though. Tell you what, we're going to have her hit zero, and then when she does, we'll use the coffee. I don't know why her stamina is so low, but she's holding the group back. It's fine. Okay, I think we're good here. Here we go. You want me to import one of my trucks from SnowRunner? Hell yeah, brother. All right, on our way to Fort Hall we go. Fort Hall, a popular trading post for mountain men, immigrants, and Shoshone alike, built on the banks of the Snake River. Uh, one character, all stats plus six. Oh, we got to give that to her. Uh, 70 miles to go. Reach the settlement in five days. We get 43 bucks. Do it without contracting dysentery. We get a Harmony. Hey, what's up, Ramirez? How you doing, dude? All right, we're going up to the Dragoons. I think we can only get to two of them, though. That'll give us nine if we get both of them. Party leaves the wonders of Soda Springs behind. It's a relatively short stretch to the safety of Fort Hall, though the journey will be no less perilous. Yep. Every single time, dude, that we leave a fort or something like that, it always has to happen. Terrible bang echoes from within the wagon, and Isabel cries out in pain. Seems the harsh desert sun has ignited the gunpowder within a rifle. It's misfired with Isabel, the unlucky target. And Victor on the negative hygiene again. Yep, every time. You gonna play Evil West? Uh, we did. Yesterday we did our first look on that one. Bullet hit Isabelle in her arm, but passed through cleanly. Victor provides some medicine, bandages the wound tightly. Plus, our schedule is down below in the description, too. Unfortunately, the bandages can't barely stem the flow of blood. Isabelle will need further medical attention or perhaps a miracle. Oh, boy. Great. While feeding the oxen, Barbasy observes one of the beasts... Seems lethargic. It's breathing labor. Might oh, uh, we should inspect the ox. We've seen this before. Believes the problem to be a mild form of colic, easily treated with water to drink or in a moment to roam freely. In no time, the party is able to continue on. Uh oh, hey, desert horned lizard. Greetings, strangers. You must be my ride. I knew the captain would come for me. Just drop me off at Fort Hall, if you please. Let go. Not suspiciously too easy. Yep. What's wrong? Uh, without waiting for a reply, the strange, annoying man crams himself into the wagon as comfortably as he can. Plus one, Robert Moore. Well, welcome aboard, Robert. Now let's go to the other one. Oh, you son of a... Wait, can we fit them upside down? <laughs> awesome. Best game ever, dude. All right. Uh. Okay, that should work. Um, wait, is he three tall? Okay. Uh, one of the harmonicas has to go down, boys. Actually, you know what? We'll just use the way... Uh, I don't want to use it here. No, I'm going to use it when we leave the next fort, actually. Wait, how far do we have to go? You know, we're supposed to arrive in four days. I don't want any slowdowns. Let's do it. Because we'll get some money for that, and that's good. What is the full grown man for? 
for money. Now we're going to go strenuous and try to get there as fast as possible. I don't want any slowdowns. I don't want any sus. Yeah, yeah. All right, time to use coffee. Jeff, thank you very much for the 21 months as a raptor egg. Thank you guys for all your big O support. Appreciate it. Nice. New member. Welcome. Right now we got gunshot wounds for Isabel. She's exhausted. She's going to die, man. Isabel's going down. Just not going to make it. A bison lies in the dirt beside the trail on moving. It doesn't appear to have any external wounds or evidence of sickness, at least at a quick glance. However, further investigation may be necessary to determine the safety of any meat. Nope. Oh. Pass on that one. Pass. Hard pass on that one. I know you're that group that our idiot captain sent after us. Obadiah Oakley? I won't lie, traveling alone has been boring. Let's play a little game. Whoa. All right, now we're getting into jigsaw level here. I'll challenge you to a battle wits. You can answer a few of my questions correctly. I'll rejoin the party. Okay, bye. All right, chat. Big brain emote wall in the chat. Let's turn on them big brains. Chat, I want to hear it. Let's get them started, brother. Oh, boy. So, let's get started. What runs but never walks, murmurs but never talks, has a bed but never sleeps, and has a mouth but never eats? A river. Oh, I didn't even have to look at the answers. Yeah, a river ru run, river murmur, river bed, and mouth of a river. I think it's a river. Let's go with an echo. Oh, I mean, uh, wait, a mirror. No, I mean a redemption. No, a shadow? No, the wind. No, a river. Ah, yes. Correct. Let's try another. <clears throat> I have branches, yet I have no leaves, no trunk, and no fruit. What am I? A road? I, I have branches, yet no leaves, a trunk, no trunk, no fruit. A brank? A brank. Let's try the brank. That says a bank too. Okay, let's go with the brank. Ah, oh, yes. Let's try another. What is greater than God, more evil than the devil? The poor have it, the rich need it, and if you eat it, you'll die. YouTube's algorithm. I don't see that as an answer. Okay, clearly this will need to be patched out. Chicago. Of course, Chicago. What is greater than God, more evil than the devil? The poor have it, the rich need it. If you eat it, you'll die. Nothing? If you eat nothing, you'll die. So. I'm going to go with nothing. Not bad at all, strangers. Fine, I'll pre uh, prepare here for a minute. And meet up with the captain. Take my medallion to his proof of your uh, relative wit. Godspeed. Thanks. <clears throat> Stop. This'll do. I can walk the rest of the way. Thanks, friends. Have my medallion as a prize. I've got no idea what you can do with it, but I don't want it, so enjoy. Thanks, Robert Moore. Wow. You see that, Isabella? You see how fast he can go? You see that? Are they playing music? Ah, good to see you again. We've been listening to uh, this bass player perform. He's quite good, isn't he? More importantly, did you manage to bring our instruments? I'd quite like to get a move on. Oh, yes, we did. Everything seems to be in order. We'll see you at Fort Boise for the performance. Rosetta waves goodbye. Oh, good. Our inventory is starting to get more clear. 
Hi there, the name's Raymond. I don't suppose you could spare some change for this old performer, could you? We're just a few dollars short of some new boots, then I'm out of here for good. Raymond seems skilled at playing the double bass. He'd be a perfect fit for Lewis Southworth's band. But he looks too dressed for uh, to be dressed for winter, not for a concert hall. What should the party do? Invite him to the band. Ask about the fit. Let's ask about the fiddle. You looking to buy a fiddle, are you? I hear there's a salesman who went to south of Snake River. I'm sure I'm going to meet with him myself to see how much I can chart or get for my double bass. Bet it's worth a lot. Give him the five bucks, but I want to invite him to the band. Thanks, stranger. This will help me accomplish my dream of becoming a mountain man. I'd say see you later, but you probably won't. Lol. Offer him another five. Uh, invite him to the band. Join a band at Fort Boise. Sorry, no can do. I'm giving up music just as soon as I've earned a bit of money. I'm going to live in the mountains and start trapping furs. Then I'll be sure to make a real fortune. Discuss Mountain. Uh, Raymond doesn't seem interested in joining the band. What should the party do? Life of the mountains is terribly exhausting, sir. Early mornings, late nights, long hours, and no time to enjoy a hot cup of coffee. Why well, I'm exhausted just thinking about it. I'm afraid my mind is made up. I'm sure, life would be hard, but the rewards are probably worth it. Just think of the clean and fresh air. Despite his words, Raymond seems unsure of himself. Mention the cold. Mighty cold up in the mountains. You know, I've heard stories of men who freeze to death in their sleep. I can't bear to imagine something like that happening to you. Oh, of course it's cold. That's why I got this thick coat. See? Got it secondhand from a real fur trapper. I'll admit it's probably seen better days, but I'm sure I can fix it up. Raymond's starting to sound a bit doubtful. Discuss clothing making. You'll be able to take care of that coat for many winters, I'm sure. Mountaineers are very experienced at hunting deer, skinning them, tanning the hides, but you already know all about that. Well, it's not something I've done before, but I'm sure I could ask my friends to teach me. When Raymond mentions his friends, the party senses a weakness in his facade. Who should attempt to take advantage of it? Victor. You wouldn't have any friends in the mountains, Raymond. Not a one. You'd be alone for months with nobody to talk to. Do you understand? Victor delivers, delivers the final blow with a calculated precision. I, 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 ne I never thought of it like that. I was just imagining a big adventure, but you're right. I really would be on my own. Raymond suddenly seems very pensive. Well, except for the bears and wolves. Frickin' knew it. They could keep you company, I suppose. Are you much of an animal lover? All right, you made your point. I guess it's not really cut. I'm not really cut out for mountain life at, after all. Here, you can have my coat. I don't think I'm going to need it. it. Smells a bit funny anyway. Where did you say the band was performing? Fort Boise? I wasn't planning on traveling that far with my double bass. You reckon you could carry it for me? Damn it. We got to be everybody's personal Uber. Wow. Well, at least we got clothing. Good. <sighs> Victor needs clothes again. Raptor delivery service? Yeah, man. All right, eight miles to go. Oh, we're already pulling in. Double weed. All right, on to the Rockies, boys. After this. As the imposing white-gray walls of Fort Hall rise into view, the clamor and hubbub of trade is already evident. Several tents surround the fort, many of which no doubt belong to hopeful fur traders. 
Who would you like to heal? Isabel, for sure. Treat with coffee? No. Isn't it a, fr a free one? God, it, it didn't even give a full one. Oh boy, this is the Donner Party. Oh god. You've unlocked a new journey, bitter winter. Brave the harsh mountain weather to help Thompson find his companions in this brutal winter themed challenge. Successful completion unlocks the hunting knife and the mountain man class. Oh damn, you can get a mountain man class? There we go, pulling into Fort Hall. Woo. Congratulations, your party has reached Fort Hall. Nine of 12 route challenges completed. Days traveled. Total 86 days we've been on the road. Yeah, don't get me started on the knife chat. Woo! All right, let's do some services. Can we get our uh, friend healed? Handful of stores have been built to supply the trade goods to fur trappers, but we'll happily take money from immigrants. Welcome to my practice. Who would you like to treat? Isabel? Nice, now she's got full health back. And nope. We'll uh, treat her with some medicine and stuff we could probably trade for. All right, so... So the next goal is Fort Boise. Okay, let's go back. All right, let's uh, trade. How do we bring her stamina? How'd they get deleted? I have no idea, honestly. I don't know why they're low and how to get them back. Like, we treated her at a doctor, and I don't see anything in, like, her description that would make her, like, less... have less stamina. She didn't start with three, though. Do we remember what happened, Chad? I, for the longest time, she's been at three, and I don't know what happened. A single glance is enough to make it clear... Oh, maybe it was an injury she had, but you'd think the doctors would be able to heal her. Maybe it's a permanent debuff from an injury. I think she broke her leg at one point, but maybe that's it. A single glance is enough to make it clear that the fur trade is full of in full swing here. People are hawking their wares, no doubt trying to make their fortunes. Didn't she break a leg? Yeah, somebody broke a leg and somebody also broke their toes by getting it run over by the wagon wheel. And then the game said that it was their leg broken. Which is like two different things, but okay. Aunt Rebecca Sims. Here, there's mountain sheep around here. Enough water, too, but hardly a stick of wood. Thank heaven for Fort Hall. But I'm real sorry to be saying goodbye to my cousin Miles and all the folks heading to California. Eh? Overlander. He broke both legs. Now, I think, um... I think Victor broke one leg. I don't know. I think you need to use three coffee to heal her stamina. I think it refers to that we have three coffee and that we can increase her stamina, like refill the bars that are there, but I don't know how to get the the bars back up to six. Ford Hall is a busy fort. Wide stretches of meadow grass here are just uh, what our tired animals need. As for me, I'll fix up the wagon leaks. Amanda's real anxious to watch all, wash all the clothes and linens in one of them clear streams. Grandma, thanks for the 34 months as a Raptorian. Thank you very much for your membership. Appreciate the support. Uh, let's trade. Toolboxes, flower, medicine, grease. Let's do the medicine.
Try resting in a lodge? Uh, we did that before, too. Still trade for 84 flour. Ooh. Take a look at our supply. Hmm. Get things all nice and organized here. Okay, get a little bit more space. Like two, three, and a two by two. Plus one. Too many harmonicas? Yeah. They only take up one space and we can throw them out any time, though. Uh, we gave instruments back just before Fort Hole, but now we gotta get to Fort Boise for the big concert, so now we gotta bring the bass there. Oregon Trail was the game back in the day. Yeah, a lot of people were commenting that this game isn't new, and it's like, well, yeah, no duh. Like, in my previous streams, I mentioned that, like, we played this in school back in the day, too, but this this is a new version of that game. Like, this, is, this isn't this is the version from 1976. This isn't the version from 1992 or 2020. It's, it's from 2022. This, this version of the game is new, ported from mobile phones from, like, the previous year, so... Um, but yeah, I mean, this game's been around. This is the OG survival game, dude. This is a roguelike, and this is a survival simulator. Like, you you manage inventory, you hunt, you fish. I mean, you prevent disease. I mean, it's really interesting that it's not a base builder either, you know? Like, we're actually mobile, and that's really cool. I want more games to be where, like, your base is, well, the wagon. Like, it's bringing all your supplies. It's pretty cool. All right, we need toolboxes. Or rather, medicine. And I could trade the toolboxes, but... I'm feeling more like flour. Let's trade the flour. Alright, let's stack this into the wagon. Yeah, we want medicine, toolboxes... Wagon grease is going to be an incredibly expensive purchase. There's no way. Even if we haggle, no way. Yeah, Yukon Gold Rush was another one true, and there was also the uh, Amazon Trail. Great games. Really cool, solid concept. Brother. Stop it, sir. You're making me blush. I think we want to save some ammo for uh, hunting when we get closer to the Rockies. We got 47 rounds. I think we could spare it. Yeah, for the wagon grease, yeah. We're going to need to get over the Rockies as smooth as possible. Okay, so let's organize the wagon grease there and there. Okay. Alright, and what's his name? Offers toolboxes. No, thank you. Got enough now, and more flour. And she'll trade for... The black demons. Eight bullets. Three toolboxes. I'm gonna trade more bullets. Cool, so that's stacked. Excellent. Let's check the store. 
Yeah, it seems like we have a lot, but each square that gets damaged takes one toolbox to repair. So it, it seems like we have a lot of boxes, but like one instance of damage could take like an entire stack of the store. wagon yeah there's a sailing wagon yep that's kind of like a challenge one clothes uh, we could buy clothing yep that might be a good idea We should get some rest now. Yeah, we could buy bait. Um, what's bait? Like 20, what's 10 or 20 bucks? Twenty-eight bucks. Fishing got us a long way here. We, we fished for a long time and made a ton of money, and we traded by haggling up. But at a certain point, I think we were trading, like, what was it, chat? Like, from three to five bucks per fish? We were trading, like, five bucks per fish times, like, 15 fish. Or, we were hundreds of dollars we were making off fish. It was crazy. Yeah, we bought the best wagon because of it. It was crazy. Right, I think we should rest for a day at least. The group earned it. Although, there's really no point. I just don't know why she's down to three. You don't know why you bought the zesty cheese Doritos? These are nasty and not good the good kind. Oh really? Zesty cheese. You know what I really like? What's underestimated is the um I think they have a, a box of them that you can buy now, but you guys remember uh like re reaching into a box of like uh cheese its and every once in a while they have the kind of the burned one? It just hits different. And I think they made like a version of like burnt uh cheese its or something, but it's just not the same, bruh. We'll need six spots for the fish. It's true. But my anticipation is that between now and whenever we encounter fish, we will probably uh, lose some things in supply. So we'll see. All right, I think we're ready to roll out. This is the big journey. This is it, boys. This is like we're going over the Rockies. Like, this is big. I think we're good to go. Anybody else to talk to? Okay. Let's go! Train is leaving the station. All right, so now we got to get to Fort Boise. That's where the big concert is going. And we have two options, the Three Island Crossing or the Snake River Crossing. Oof. In the south, we'd have to cross twice. But somebody did mention that there's a reason why you want to go south. Wait, would this be four times? Three Island Lookout looks like a ferry crossing. So that'd be one, two, three times we'd have to cross the Snake River. Bruh. That's a lot of river crossing. Oh. Maybe it's not a river crossing, though. Bears are in the north and snakes are in the south. Oh, well, that's the end of the stream, then. <laughs> All right, Fort Boise. But first, Three Island Lookout. The final looking, uh, the final lookout over the Snake River before descending into the River Valley. 
152 miles, collect meat and pelts, receive coffee and... I love how long this game is. Uh, possible wagon parts. Last time we found wagon, we also found money. Like there was money like hidden in the wagon. So we could go wagon, uncharted, uncharted, fishing. We could also do hunting. This is the group of like happy travelers. For uh, morale boost. Go in the middle. The party departs Ford Hall with terp, trep, uh, trepidation. One of the trail's most perilous stretches now lies between the travelers and Fort Boise. Let's go. A man clad in black approaches the party. He looks to be a traveling physician. Hello there. I can tend your injuries for a modest price. Hey, back. Yeah, we have eight dollars. Bye. Why don't you go wait in the fort, dude? Then again, knowing our group, about ten seconds till somebody slips and falls. The clouds break as rain pelts the trail. Water gathers in the myriad wagon ruts, turning it to spoil the mud. The mud builds up, the oxen slip and slide, and the wagon becomes bogged down, forces forcing the party to stop. Trying to continue along the trail when the ground is slippery could prove dangerous. Alternatively, the party could make camp and wait out the weather. Uh, let's wait it out. I don't want any injuries. The party awakens wet and cold, but relieved to find the rain has cleared. The camp is packed. Caked in mud is uh, the caked mud is cleansed from the wagon's wheels before the journey continues. Will all be. Oh, we got 100 miles to go. I'm using that uh, damn grease. Three days. A gunslinger? Howdy! My name's, uh... Well, it's not important. I got some business to take care of and I need to hone my shooting skills. Fancy a wager? I'll spot you the bullets, so no need to concern yourself with that. Wait, why, why decline? Can't we do it? Is it money? Are we betting? Have your way. See you around. Sorry, sir. We are broke. Squirrel. Ah, uh, that was definitely, uh, that was definitely some, uh, gambling. But, I think our best shot's only a level three, so we probably would've lost, so it's not that bad. <sighs> uh, does the grease prevent injury from the wagon, too? Uh, probably not. The party approaches a dilapidated, wind-blown wagon. While the long-abandoned wagon looks as if it might collapse at any moment, some parts might be salvageable. Investigate. Uh, the wagon wobbles precariously. It might be possible to retrieve useful materials, but each attempt comes with the risk of the wagon collapse. Take the wheel. Busy. Only a single wheel is acceptable condition of use. It slips free from the wagon and tumbles into the dirt as the wagon shudders softly. While inspecting the wagon, Lizzie finds a small tin filled with coffee beans. They're fresh, so she takes them back to the wagon. Yeah. Wait, that's what we were waiting for. Oh, cool. The wagon wheels stack. Excellent. And we've got free coffee. Oh, we got two coffee from that. Nice. I wonder if the... Oh... I don't know if the axles will stack or not, but there's also a chance somebody could get injured. Take another axle, though. You know, honestly, this is not this is not necessary. 
We can't really trade the axle. We can't really... Uh, I think we're going to keep going. But then again, if we try to take the axle, we might find some. Alright, let's try it. No. No. No, we're going for one. We got what we needed. We're coming out on top. We're good. Alright, let's go to the... I'm not going to do fishing yet. Let's go to the nondescript trail. No fishing yet. No fishing. I'm fine with that. We're good. Bye, harmonica. Bird. Oh, hello once again, my friends. It's good to see friendly faces on uh, this far west. I hope the trail's not been too hard on you. It's been a hard road for us since we last met, I'm afraid. We're running low on supplies, and little Mary's come down with a terrible sickness. Perhaps if you have some time, you'd like to speak to her. She's grown very fond of you since we first met. Offer medicine. You really are too kind. I don't know how to thank you for this. I only hope it's enough to cure little Mary's fever. With any luck, we'll see you again in Oregon. What the hell's Oregon? Alright. Little Mary, she's getting all the love. Black Demons with the six months. Hope you're having a happy holiday thus far, man. Thanks again for all the amazing content. Keep it up. Thank you very much for watching, dude. Welcome to the Big O Stream, bro. That's nice. All right, let's continue. Oh, we don't really have a choice on that one. Yeah, we got we got little Mary taking care of her. Isabel winces in pain. Her gunshot wound still smarts, but the treatment she received staved off any infection. Oh, if we didn't treat it, it would have gotten infected. Good move. All right, let's change clothes. Bum, bum. Am I going to do two streams today? Oh, uh, we did. We had our earlier Valheim stream, and now this stream. Two times a day that we stream. Oh, on T day. Yeah, we'll be streaming the AM and the PM. I'm going to be doing my festivities in the midday, as usual, so we'll be good. Thanks for asking. Hunting or fishing? Let's go for the pelts, baby. We're going to save that wagon grease. When checking the flower, Isabel noticed some of the... Uh, has become waterlogged and begin to clump together. Most of the flour could be saved if it was sifted to remove the moist portions. Moist. Ah, we'll discard the 22. We're about to get a ton of meat. No time. Keep on, tr keep on rolling, brother. Little wagon damage. All right, time to hunt. Let's go with Lizzie. Yeah, 
Here we go. Get your Tucker hats on. We're going hunting. Squirrel. 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 Big squirrel. Squirrel. Ninety pounds. Yeah. And we get another thirty because of our traps. Squirrel. Uh, only had enough stamina to carry seventy five. But thanks to the trap, we get a 30. Yeah. Get them pelts. All right, let's repack. Okay, eight flower can go. What are the bowl looking things? Uh, that is uh, like a coin thing for trade. Uh, let's see. I want to use the wagon grease yet. Harmonica's got to go. These harmonicas are just everywhere. We're getting rid of the harmonicas. The pelts are too useful. And expensive. We can get a lot of money from them. Drop the coffee. Moderators, that's a ban. Get them out of here. We should have gotten that achievement. We got 105 meat. I pitched wine and mosquitoes fills the air. The nearby water must be a breeding ground for their larvae. The pest uh, bed devil, uh, bedevil the party constantly, inflicting hundreds of tiny bites. Great. Island Lookout. We're the only ones here. Never mind. Chill wind blows from the Snake River as the party approaches. The view is astounding. A sobering reminder of how many miles remain to be traveled. Yay. Several travelers are surveying the Snake River and the islands dotting the waters. None seem eager in the attempt uh, to attempt the crossing, Andrew. Come all the way from Independence, have you? Well, nearly in Oregon. 
You can endure most onerous river crossing, that is. Best of luck. Helen. Snake River is a vicious hurdle, but the smattering of the islands within it are at least uh, allow you some respite between crossings. George. Supposedly, the Shoshone round here named this place after salmon. I haven't foggiest how it became known as Snake River, maybe on account of its shape. Great. It appears some people are willing to trade with you. What should be done? Maybe we can keep the pelts. Guidebook. Stop it, sir. You're making me blush. All right, James. I'll trade you four toolboxes. Yeah, we can use it as we're leaving. Three clothes. Mm, I'll trade the 15 bait. Three coffee. No way. Even if I haggle. No way. Is this just for PC? It was also on mobile phone. This is uh, this game is a mobile phone port, but I'm really surprised at how long this first run is. Like we're gonna be like ten hours in. Pretty cool. I will trade a cloth. Hmm. So we'll use this book, then that'll stack, and then we use the wagon grease and that'll fit, so that's good. I want to save the pelts just in case we do a river crossing. Don't think we can re we should rest. We'll just take a coffee soon. Let's depart. Then we'll have to repack the wagon when we leave. Man, wasn't that beautiful that that area? All right, I think we should go south. There was some reason we're supposed to go south. You better start voice acting again. You're making me blush. Why, thank you, viewer. That is very awesome of you. Snake River crossing the largest tributary of the mighty Columbia. The Snake River Valley offers guidance and on the journey west. Go south, brother. Don't get that. No cholera, no dysentery. Don't do it, brother. Uh, let's go for the cooking station. Oh, restores hygiene. Well, knowing uh, you know who, we're going to need that. All right, wayfinding plus one. Let's go for Victor. Cool. Cool box, brother. Now we'll use the coffee. Uh, 
Oh boy. Explosive idea. Ahead of the party, a trail disappears under a mass of wooden leaves. It seems a recent storm brought down some large trees and now stubbornly refuse to move out of the way. Given some time, the fallen trees could be chopped and removed. However, it would require significant effort on the group's part to do so manually. Alternatively, the party could backtrack and find another way around, though there's no guarantee one even exists. What should be done? I wonder if find another way around would rely on the wayfinding. I kind of want to try that and see what it does. Yo, Levi with the five. Thank you very much. Let's do find another way around just to see if it takes into account the wayfinding perk that we just got. Yep, okay, cool. Even the known qualities of the trail to find a way around the rock slide will require blazing a trail, testing the wayfinding abilities of anyone in the lead. Depending on the skill of the navigator, finding a way around could be very quick or take significantly longer. Who should take point? Isabel, that's you. Need more bears, my lord. Where's my 50? Bears. Isabel successfully finds a way around the rock slide suitable for the wagon. A rock slide? That was a couple of trees that were knocked down. Leads the party back to the trail with little time wasted. Awesome. Means minimum stam stam stamina. George Costanza. Oh, more berries. Grove of wild berries grow near the trail ahead. Party looks at them eagerly, anticipating a delicious change from the food pack for the journey. These are raspberries, safe to eat, but best collected by someone with a keen eye. Who should forge the berries? Well. Isabel has died to death. No. Whether the thorough pure uh, whether through pure intuition or practice skill, Isabel collects an abundance of wild berries. Oh, plus 75 foodstuffs. Now we have food. Okay, so that's how we make a uh, fish bait out of that. I see. I see, madam. I see. Hmm. This would equal another 60 meat in total. So I'm gonna go with that. We'll discard the traps. Looks like meat and foodstuffs can restore morale. Flour does not. But there's a lot more of it, so. Chickens. This campsite has been set up with wash basins and bathtubs to make use of nearby spring. It's a great opportunity to restore hygiene, though it may take some time. Set up camp. Party can either spend time cleaning themselves or learning more about each other. I think we know enough of our skills, so let's just clean, especially for... Well, it might also restore... Maybe stamina? Who knows? The party spent some time... Thoroughly scrubbing themselves, glad to be free of the muck and grime that comes with travel, brother. Amen. Thank God he washed. All right. Well, then that was clearly needed. 16 miles to the Snake River Crossing. The party hears the unmistakable sound of an accordion and comes across a young woman playing the instrument all on her own. Her unique sound might be exactly what Lewis Southworth needs for his band to stand out. 
Is that true, ma'am? Ah, my name is Cleo. I see you enjoy my music, strangers. If only I could play for everyone who travels through these parts. Alas, my parents insist I gave up my accordion before we crossed the mountains. Les Mountains. I am from Montreal, brother. Amen. The young woman looks dejected and stops playing. Should the party try inviting her to join Lewis, Lewis's band or ask about something else? Ask about the fiddle. Well, there's a salesman a little farther along Snake River. It's possible he might have a fiddle for sale. My parents intend to give me a precious accordion to him. How regrettable. The young woman looks dejected. Invite to join the band. A band? Why, that would be magnificent. I've always dreamed of playing in a band. I've always thought that music is so inspirational. But I cannot go against the wishes of my parents, and with no accordion, I cannot play. It's obvious that Cleo would enjoy being a part of the band. What do you think that it's the time for an inspiring speech? Uh, the party takes out a notebook and thinks about what they should say to Cleo. What topic would make for a good opening? Accordions? Enjoyment or parents? Hmm. Well, she seems to talk about her parents a lot, huh? What do you think, chat? Enjoyment? I thought we could talk about rhythm because it's a dancer. Rhythm is a dancer. Yeah. All right, enjoyment. The party confidently starts taking notes. Which topic would be good for the middle of the speech? Musical notes, stress relief, or dreams? Nothing about rhythm? rhythm is a dancer. I guess not. Chat says dreams? Okay. The party continues taking notes. What topic would be good for a conclusion? Confidence, inspiration, or songs? What do you think, chat? Maybe it's about playing a song for a cowboy man? Chat's saying inspiration. Okay. With the speech written, all that remains is the delivery. Who should deliver the inspiring speech? Uh, let's have Victor do it. He was successful with the last person, too. Victor reviews the notes one last time and then looks up at Cleo, who is looking at him with a curious expression. He takes a deep breath. Flying music is obviously something you love, Cleo. You shouldn't give up on it so easily or you'll lose an important source of joy in your life. You should follow your dreams if you don't make it for... If you don't make time for them now, then where? Never too early. When you're older, you should be able to look back on your life with no regrets. I want you to consider this. Your music might be the last thing that people hear before they attempt to cross the Blue Mountains. How inspiring would it be to hear such a beautiful song... You might very well save somebody's life. You know what? You're right. I will play in your band. And I wrote this fancy tune for you. <laughs> what? I... I don't know what life will be like once I reach Oregon. So I must seize this occasion while I can. Please take my accordion with you. I don't want my parents to know I'm keeping it. Not yet. I'll see you again soon. I'll look forward to meeting the other musicians before long. Leo smiles warmly. Here's this over encumbrancing inventory item. I gotta go.
All right. Yeah. Can I use the wagon grease? Yeah, but it's only a couple miles to the next crossing. The lumen clouds at last give out, showering the wagon in a constant blanket of rain. This weather's depressing. The mood is somber as the wagon's wheels slog over the muddy ground. At last, the rain clears and the sun returns to the trail. Everyone is plus one Sag. I hope there's a ferry here. These travelers are anxiously surveying the river ahead, unsure if they're ready to cross. Helen, most folk hire one of the Shoshone to guide them across the river. Even with an experienced guide, it's a dangerous task. Jane. Snake River winds its way around such that you'll have to cross it twice. Make sure you prepare yourself, brother. Lewis. All rivers differ in width, depth, and type of ground beneath them. Try a cross when the water's low and the river's not so wide. Mud can also make it harder to cross, but there's not much you can do about that, except float over it, of course. Trade. Come back to that one. Oh, damn. We don't have the option for a ferry. Wait, what are the river conditions? Current extreme. Ooh. 80 feet wide, though. And nine uh, feet deep, which is bad because I think the wagon's 2.5 feet. We're going to have to wait for it to slow down a little bit. Get some more pelts first. All right. Thank God for the toolboxes. Now the rest won't change the uh, depth, but it will change the uh, the tide. To wait a day for the whip. Okay, so it's a it's an extreme right now.
The longer you wait, the more favorable the river conditions increases the chance of reaching the far side. So if we wait, it's going to go from probably extreme to rapid and then rapid to fast, but it probably won't get much better than that. Uh, let's rest a day. The wagon bed is rearranged into a cozy sleeping space as it is possible and the party settles down for the night. is still extreme. Depth went down though from 9 feet to 8.5. Huh. Oh. Help me, Jesus. I think we'll wait one more day, but I don't think it's going to get any better. Well, the depth went down. So the current's not changing, but the depth again went down from 9 to a 7.7. .7. Don't think there's any new people to trade with. Roll them dice, baby. Roll them dice. Got to roll them dice. to roll them dice. Better chance if you Chevy the... <laughs> Chevy Chase? No, we're not forwarding the river. Hell no. We're, we're going to cock the wagon, but that's still 50. It's going to bring us to like a 50-something percent. Um, what, what, what percentage were we at before? 53? I don't, it doesn't look like the depth of the river is increasing the chances, is it? It increased 2%. I mean, we could wait for months. Ah. Uh. Wait two more? I mean... Alright, one in the chat if we're going and rolling them dice. Two in the chat if we should wait a day. One if we're rolling out, two if we're waiting a day. Chat wants to wait a day? Okay. Alright, we'll wait one more day. One mo again. We're just gonna wait one mo again. Which would be a great merch item to put in our Teespring store with the link pinned at the top of the chat, by the way, with new items and sexy new fashions available for any and all of our viewers. Available now. Let's rest and wait for hopefully a improvement. 7.2 went down to rapid. 
put anything else. All right, we went from 53 to 55 to 58. I, I don't know if it's going to get any better. Now it's too deep. We can't ford the river. It'll just tip over. One mo again. We have to cross this river one mo again after this one mo again. All right, fine. One more day, but then we're going. Okay. All right, we're going one one mo, one mo, but then we're going. Okay, it's still rapid, but it's at sixty-two percent. We're going because we still got one. We got to go one. We got to do another one. So we're going. Let's get started. Hold on. But hold on. Oh wait, I flooded it. We should damn it, we should have put more pelts in. Ah. Oh well. Okay, let's make absolutely sure we've used all of our pelts. Okay, they're all used. Alright, ready? Uh, where are we going to find pelts for the second land? We're going to have to go hunting again. Which means, before we go... Hold on. Maybe we should get ammo. Because the only way we're going to get... Uh... There might be a fairy at the second. Yeah, if there's not, we're going to need more pelts, though. So let's trade uh, some clothes. Thinking a little ahead. Okay, we're back up to 52 rounds. 42 rounds. Okay, let's cross. Let's go. All right, one in the chat. Let's do it, baby. One in the chat for luck. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, baby. One in the chat for luck. God. All right. And in five, four, three, two, one. Party prepares the wagon, removing the wheels and making the bed watertight. The wagon is overturned by the current. The party and their belongings are swept downstream. Time lost. One day. Wagon condition, it'll buff out. Items lost. Two meat, nine flour, and two bullets. Oh, the injuries. The wagon eventually runs aground in the far bank, some way down the river. Much time lost, the exhausted party attempts to get the journey back on course. And they collect the supplies they can and on chalk. Uncock the wagon. No, don't undo it. We're going to do it again next one. The Oregon Trail hug, hugs the Snake River for a significant portion of the journey, allowing for ready access to water. Oh, that's good. Now, let's not get dysentery or cholera. Yeah. Are right, we're going hunting. We need that for... Oh, 
Thank God we brought all those repair kits. <sighs> Am I gonna stream the game awards? Maybe. Seems fun. You know, all things considered, it wasn't that bad, but the fact that we got to do it again is not great. All right, let's get our uh, bearings straight here. Damn, we lost the axle too, damn. That's what's gonna break. Thank God this wagon sponsored by Folgers with the amount of coffee we got in here. New member, welcome. Where's the fiddle? We haven't gotten it yet. Mice, thanks for the 29 months, bro. Grease for sale, cheap, high quality wagon grease. Interest interested in some grease? It's the modern stuff with soap for thickener. I'll tag them down. Five for seven dollars, sir. Eight, eight dollars. We'll have literally zero dollars. How did you lose the axle? Shouldn't it have been on the ground? I don't know. It didn't say it was part of the lost items, did it? Oh yeah, it was. It fell in the water, which is sad. Sad. Why did he sell only grease? This is this is the hard part though, baby. This is this is where the uh, this is where it uh, it goes down. All right, time to hunt. Got to get them pelts. Too bad we don't have them traps. Daniel, thanks for the two. Let's go. Okay, I got him. I don't even think we can carry all this back, so I'm just gonna chill. 160, brother, yeah. Carried 100 pounds back to storage, hell yeah. Get them pelts. Seven pelts, hell yeah. reaches the uh, into the wagon to check the group supplies and emits a startled yelp and stumbles backwards a snake hastily slithers out of the wagon though nobody manages to get a good look at its species the creature has bitten Barbsy in the arm there's a snake in my boot Victor treats the wound, applying medicine and a clean bandage. Luckily, it looks as if it'll make a full recovery. Oh, it's getting it's getting worse. Can you guys believe it? There's a snake down by Snake River. I can't believe it. We were supposed to go this way for the quest too, so we're purposely like going going hard. Many of the travelers here are drenched to the bone. It's hard to say if they've just come from the first crossing or if they've retreated from the second. 
Yeah, good thing it isn't the Bear River. I say, are you interested in purchasing one of my fine musical instruments? They're reasonably priced. Ask about the fiddle. A fiddle, you say? Certainly, uh, I happen to have a fiddle in excellent condition right here. Only for $100. Are you interested in purchasing it? Can you do better? Of course. How about 80 Now, Now we're 10 Oh, outrage. How do you expect me to feed my family on it? such a measly sum? I'll sell it for 60 Demand better. Oh, you drive a hard bargain. All right. I'll lower the price to 50 You won't get a better deal from anyone else. Or a finer instrument. I promise you that. Very well. I'll find someone else to sell these instruments to, but you're making a big mistake. Oh, we can come back and talk to him. All right, let's do some trade. We need 50 bucks. Wait, let's look at the river conditions first. Extreme, 9 feet, 75 feet wide. God. All right, we can buy pelts. That's good. We might be able to sell those. If the snake bites, do you get bereavement leave? Ha ha ha. Oh yeah, this music's from SnowRunner. All right, let's trade the bullets. Oh uh, boy, we might need those toolboxes after that crossing. What if he buys the fiddle and loses it in the water? It's probably a quest item that won't... I hope that won't disappear. Let's get the repair kits just in case. Bagel. Glad we got a guarantee on the haggling. That's helped us immensely. 90 meat, flour, or pelts. Uh, what do we got for ammo? 16 rounds, that should be enough. Okay. Not much food left? Uh, we got a bit of food. That's that's a good amount. party morale. I can't believe like morale is not a problem after like tipping the wagon over. I would have been bummed. Hmm. Oh yeah, we can change the rations while we rest. Good point. Yeah, you know, we should probably do that because honestly we can we can get these rations back up by just playing a harmonica. They might get a little bummed, but play our harmonica. Also, we gotta pick up the pace because, uh, yeah. Alright, let's get that, uh, harmonica. So we gotta trade some pelts, unfortunately. In order to do this quest. You'll buy it five per pelt. Haggle. Yeah, fishing's good money in this game, too. It's true. Much better than the pelts, but uh, we got rid of our traps and went a different way. Hmm. We'll do eight per pelt. We need... Uh, We need 50, but can we actually, like, trade? Can we do more? Like, will he go any lower? You 
Can you do 30? Oh, we can get his ass down to 40. Hold on, let's keep going through the quest lines to see how we can get the lowest price. We can talk him down. Can, I, can you do 20? He'll do 40. Demand better. Get him down to 30. Oh, we can do 30. We go lower than 30? Let's see. I don't think there's a way to get him lower than 30. Oh, we can get him down to 20, bro. Can we get him even lower? All right, we can get him down to 20, I think. All right. Well, the bet we could we could sell three pelts. Yeah, best we can do is three, yeah. I didn't even want to do the three, but alright, we'll just do the three. Right, we'll come back if we need to. Alright, let's chat with the other the other guy. Paying with the Smith and Wesson. Amen, sister. Alright, let's chat with the salesman. Ask about a fiddle. Do better for twenty. That's forty. Talk them down. Thirty. Damn. I gotta do that again. I forgot the order. Is it ten? Then he goes thirty. Then we'd get it down to twenty. Oh, that was a fail. Oh. Wow, it's the first time he actually failed. Wow, damn. Ask about the fiddle. Can you do better? Ten. No, oh, that's not it. It's gotta be twenty. We can't we can't negotiate for more than twenty. Then he goes thirty and we go back to twenty. The salesman. Fiddle. Can you do better? Go down to twenty. Is 40. Demand better. Barbsy, let's go. 30? What the hell? Oh, we gotta say it's ridiculous? Oh. Really? I thought that was the order. Ask about the fiddle. That's ridicul ridiculous. Now we're 10. He'll do 30. Demand better. Oh, that's the order. 20. There we go. Then we have a deal. It's yours for 20. You won't regret this purchase, I promise. It's really a fine instrument worthy of, lead, uh, of a leading man, I'd say. The salesman eagerly takes his payment. I bet he does. Brother.
Many of the travelers here are drenched to the bone. All right, are we ready to make this crossing? We're, we're probably going to have to wait for a while. We, we can do the waiting through this menu. Also go with bare bones since we're just sitting still. I think we'll do the same thing we did last time and then just roll the dice. How many days did we wait last time, chat? Was it two or three days? It was two? Mm hmm. No, wasn't it three? Because didn't it go to 50? Yeah, I think it was three times because it started at like 53, then 55, then like 60-something. I think we waited three times. All right, let's roll them dice. Fifty-three. Fifty-six. Let's try to go for at least a 60%. Ah, oh, that's close enough. Oh, it went down to rapid, though. Alright, one's in the chat. Smash like for luck. Let's go. Let's do it. One like equals one luck. One's in the chat equals luck. We need every damn ounce grain of sand and prayer we can get. All right, we're going in five, four, three, two, one. Go. Seal more? We can't. We're out of pelts. We used them all. Jesus, take the wheel. 62%. Let's go. No surprise there. So this is the type of game where 99% success is 99% chance to fit. Oh. 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 Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Only by giving life can we find bacon. Good words to live by. Dance on, Victor. Uh, let's see. Died of is there dice roll or BS? Uh, yeah, garbage. Uh, that's some garbage. That's some garbage. Uh, yeah. Died of garbage. Yeah, that's some garbage. Uh, chance of success. Wait, was there RNG? Died of his family? What the hell? Kind of a... That's garbage. I'm Madge. Well, that's what life was like. Unless...
Honestly, we could have sat there and kept uh, rolling the dice for days, but I mean, that's not going to really make the river any narrower. Best we could have got was like maybe 65%. Thank God we got the quest items. All right, let's see where we're at. The wagon eventually runs aground in the far bank some way down the river. Party collects what supplies they can and uncocks the wagon. Much time lost. The exhausted party attempts to get the journey back on course. Bro, trying to get this whole band together was BS. They owe us. Hey, we didn't get cholera. Yeah! Alright, cool. Never mind. There was a hidden lining. Fort Boise. A fort built on the Snake River near the mouth of the Boise River, known for its hospitality towards emigrants. One character, all stats, plus six. Oh, good! Necromancy. Excellent. We can get Victor back. Perfect. It says all characters. It doesn't say all living characters. So perfect. Awesome. Totally not mad at all. He begins scratching his stomach ferociously. Seems he's gotten bitten by many mites hiding in the grass along the trail. The affliction can be eased by, by placing bacon grease on the irritated area, but doing so would use some of the stored meat. What should be done? Oh, guys, I feel a little itchy. Only bacon can cure me. Ah, okay, Barbsy. Yeah, all right. Yeah, oh, dude. Oh, it's the only way to cure me of these mites. Barbsy places bacon grease on the worst of the bites. The fatty juices ease his itchiness considerably. He's comfortable once more. Okay. Well, we have no clothing. But at least we have Jesus. An infernal whining fills the air, swarms with mosquitoes. Yeah, alright. Do we have any wagon grease? Nope. Oh, well, we have one, but, uh... We'll use it in a little bit. The pleasant scent of frying garlic and onion reaches the party long before the light of the cooking fires. The campsite seems to be a, a red robin with the bottomless fries and great burgers and a wonderful atmosphere. Set up camp. Red robin. Yum. The party gathers around the red robin. Uh, order bottomless burgers. The red robin is complex and there's not a lot of signs around. And it looks like we can't flag down a waiter. This place is kind of annoying, but it's probably just run mostly by teenagers in a college town. Who should go and find the manager? Isabel. Isabel knows the trick to flagging down a college age snot nosed brat. Cool. Come down, the party's ready to move on. Everyone is at full shtank. And Victor's not amongst the living. I won't say dead, because I, I feel like I want to argue that death in court. Honestly, I think that was an unjust and unfair death. And I refuse to accept it. I mean, the first stage is denial, so let me grieve, chat, okay? Just let me grieve, damn it. 
the hell is this? You mother... Lewis, you killed my friend! Alright. Good to see you again. It's been a while since we met. I hope to, you're in, in the mood for some music. Now I've written some lyrics for the show tonight, but I think they'd be even better with some inspiration from your travels. Tell me everything that's happened. Oh. Oh, Lewis. Oh. Rough travels. Tell me about it. Had a hard time keeping up with James. The man doesn't let me rest. Well, forget about that. Are you ready to hear some real music? I hope you got your dancing shoes on. Oh, here we go. Cool. Good song. All right, it's worth it. It was worth Victor's death. Wait, maybe I should play. Wait, no, let's listen to the Jag song. This, this song, this song. You should sing the song from Jag, the Jag theme song. With Harmon Rab when he landed that F 14 on the deck of the carrier. I want to listen to this one. People don't yet tr know the true sounds of freedom. F-14 screeching by, but soon enough they will. The party takes some time to relax and enjoy the performance. <laughs> Great show, huh? It certainly was. Yes, it was. Oh, I'll never forget Armin Rab. Felt good being on stage again, like old times back on the farm farm weren't you busy farming looks like we brought in two hundred dollars all told not bad huh so how about it i pay you back for the fiddle i think it said it cost you twenty dollars well twenty dollars is twenty dollars i mean victor uh, you know he's probably worth more about 30 to the group well wait a minute no he yeah what the hell i need at least eight hundred dollars for the amount of clothes victor has spent holy crap i'm gonna need a lot of reimbursement here we're gonna see you in court been great working with you, but I really ought to get going, or James is going to have my head. All that for $20? Yeah, haggle. Barbsy, get the Smith & Wesson. Look me up when you get to Oregon. If I earn enough money, I'm going to buy my freedom and uh, then some land. I'll have my own farm where people aren't allowed to be so particular about fiddle music. Just you wait. Maybe I'll even give fiddle lessons. Lewis grins another of his wide grins and bids farewell to the party. Notice anybody who's missing, sir? Lewis? Congratulations on completing the Ballad of Lewis Southworth. Well, you know, it only took Victor's life, but yeah. You've unlocked the musician class. Oh, good. Lewis will be reincarnated as Snoop Dogg. Mother... F a flock of ducks suddenly scatters into the air from a water near the trail. They're quick. Someone might fell one of the birds with a well-placed shot, but it would take fast reflexes and considerable... Uh, skill with arms. Uh, what should be done? Wait, it was already too late? What the f 
Well, bro, let me at least read the... Okay. Get it. She wasn't going to hit it anyway, let's be honest. Three is zero in this game. Well, just my duck and luck. It probably would have just been like 20 meat or something. I mean, it's just a duck. Ah, thank God we made it there. What happens with a prolonged lack of hygiene? Uh, then you can attend Comic Con. Or do a D&D &D sesh in the basement. Alright, arriving at Fort Boise. Uh, the curious shape of Fort Boise looms large as the party approaches. A hulking walled quadrangle, its brickwork fortifications have long since dried and cracked in the sun. You've arrived at a fort. Who would you like to heal? Clicking, it's not working. I think it's bugged. I mean, Isabel with the three with the three negative stamina, but I don't know how the hell to. Can I do Isabel? Does it actually work? Oh, you've unlocked a new journey. Oh, dude, another side quest: Whitewater. Survive as long as possible in this endless version of the Columbia River rafting mini game. Oh God, we gotta cr we gotta cross the Columbia River. The hell? Uh, successful cl completion unlocks the Book of Hymns item. God. <sighs> uh, Sal, thanks for the 99 cents. Appreciate it. Uh, we'll do that another time. But, alright, that's kind of cool that they let you do the endless uh, whitewater rafting. Hell yeah. Oh god, this is the final leg of the race. Oh my god. Oh, there's Lewis. There, I mean Victor. There he is. Perfect. Yeah, he's a, he's just chilling over here. Yep, yeah, that's him. Okay, cool. He's not dead. He's just like he's just chilling. Oh, we're fine. Yep, he made it. Victor made it. Cool. All right, let's talk. The travelers gathered around the fort are busy loading or unloading crates and barrels uh, from their wagons. This seems like a common resupply point, brother. Amen. Uh, Aunt Rebecca Sims. At every fort along the trail, prices have been getting higher than the previous fort. This is outrageous. They're taking advantage of us. If I had the chance to do it again, I'd buy more supplies and independence. Jacob Hofstetter? Every night, even though I ache from the day's toils, my head is filled with dreams of rich farmland of the Willamette Valley. I'll build myself a fine, handsome homestead or possibly start a franchise of a Batteries Plus or possibly a discount tire. I'm certain I'll be rich within five years. Okay. Freighter. You'll not get your wagon over them blue mountains, mister. Leave it. Cross your goods over with the pack animals. Get yourself a couple of good mules, pieces of wagons, litter the trail. Not by the folks who don't heed my good advice. Is there a necromancer? Okay. Well, we did have visual confirmation that Lewis lived, so... Yeah, I... I mean, Victor. I don't know why I keep calling him Lewis, but... Oh, it's because the other guy named Lewis, that's why. They, like, have similar, like, beards in the profile picture. Trade. <coughs> it appears some people are willing to trade with you. What should be done? Barbara, that's going to take money. 
We don't have money. Two clothes. For 11 bullets, the hell? What do we have for rounds? What? Oh, I don't know about that. Got tons of flour? Yeah, but we got to go over the mountains now. This is the, the Rocky Mountain Pass, brother. This is... I mean, the barber is like 25 bucks, I think, for the, the group. I don't like these quantities or these prices. I have 80 days to winter, yeah, but I have to cro I might have to cross a river. The Columbia or there's some sort of blue river they mentioned. Dear God. Bear River, yeah. Alright, let's check services. Hygiene. Oh, it's five dollars. Okay. I was worth it. Uh, what do we uh, what do we have money for for supplies? Twelve dollars. That's pretty much nothing. Let's do. We do need repairs though. Damn it! All right, I'll trade the flour. Traps would allow us to get more pelts. The pelts would make river crossings more feasible and or we could make more money. Plus we have one less mouth to feed now. How are the mules? I think we're good to go. Should we rest at all? I don't know what that means. I think that means he's chilling. Yeah, that's got to be it. Blue Mountains, Fort Nez, the Dallas, Columbia River, Oregon City. Oh my god, this is it, boys. This is it, the fi the final leg of the race. Holy hell. Uh, there's one river crossing. The Columbia River, but I don't know why we would go through the hard way. Got to go over the mountains and then to the fort. I don't know why we would go... There's a toll road from the... Oh, God, there... Oh, that could be a toll road.
Wait, we could ride the Columbia... Is that what they would do, is ride the Columbia River down to Oregon City? Oh, hell, how much, how much to... Oh, God. How much is the toll road? Oh, it's going to be $85 per or uh, per uh, oxen. Uh, okay, all right, let's go. You have to ford the rapids. The experience is not complete without it. All right, Chad. I mean, if you want me to go down the Columbia River, I'll do it. But if anybody dies... Blue Mountains. From a distance, the mountains are surrounded by a blue haze. The final major barrier for any westbound immigrant. 197 miles. Good luck, brother. Oh, hell. Wow. Go gather. We need food. With some apprehension, the party surveys the imposing mountains ahead. Final stretch of the long trail to Oregon traverses daunting terrain, to be sure. There's bears out here. The troll... Who the hell made money on a toll road? Like, what... How the hell did the government allow that? The wagon's back wheel catches one of the trail's myriad of ruts. It sticks and jams fast and will move no farther. Oh, it gets hurt. As things stand, pushing the wagon will free the strain of the party, or worse. One might unpack the cargo to lighten it, which would be tolerably safer, but the more cargo is unloaded, the longer the process will take. Do everything. Two days? How the hell did it take two days? Whatever. Nobody got hurt. It's fine. All right, let's take a look at the numbers. And we're going to haul ass. How's morale? Heavy clouds roll in quickly and soon thereafter dump their rain, black... Blanketing the trail in water. The ground quickly grows wet, muddy under the relentless rain. The party trudges through the sticky muck, the wholly demoralizing and dirty experience, and the party begins to feel depressed and dirty. Just like the people watching who realize they didn't hit the like button. They have a chance to change it, but... Use your own adventure. Roll them dice. After some time, the rain begins to clear and the ground begins to dry. The party can continue unimpeded. <laughs> the party sp spies a small little container of sweet baby rays, the delicious nectar, which increases the taste of sausage and chicken alike. Who should go and see if they can load up the wagon? Uh, Isabel. Isabel loads her cart as quickly as she can from a supermarket sweep because she heard that beep. But she falls face first in the ground, crushing some of the berries she managed to gather. Idiot! Uh, well, we have bait, right? All right, let's let's go. We're going fishing. The wagon jostles as the unsmooth movement of the oxen pulls it across the ever-changing. Ground.
Things are looking a little light. Anybody hurt? No, we're good. Oh, the band quest was a pain in the ass, and all we got was twenty dollars. Well, for now, maybe maybe something better will happen. The party takes a moment to choose which trail to follow. Gone fishing. There's an achievement if we don't use the medallions, but I think we're supposed to bring ten, but I didn't see a path where we could have collected them all. Chat was saying there was a path ahead with ten. Several discarded and broken crates sit in the dust of the trail. They do not appear to have been discarded deliberately and it may have fell from a previous party's wagon. Uh, the broken state of the crates may render searching them difficult and time-consuming, but could carry valuable supplies. Who should search? Isabel. Oh yeah, you're right. We made no money because we got reimbursed for the damn uh, fiddle. Isabel spent some time wedging the broken uh, crates open and searching them for supplies. Trial of patience and care, but she was rewarded with a number of supplies. Oh yeah, what'd we get? A frickin' knife. A knife that's become worn from overuse. Liable to break. Oh. Well, we'll probably get some extra pelts from it, and that's about it. And some meds. A bouquet of wildflowers rests against a lone marker on the side of the trail. A fresh mound of earth beneath it. Surrounding grass barely... Recovered from a recent trampling. Something's been carved into the stone. Words uh, for whoever lies below. Barbsy decides to approach the marker and read the words aloud. Oh no, is it Little Mary? Oh god. Oh fuck. It reads, Our, chi our only child, Little Mary, four years old. Barbsy's voice drops to a whisper as he reads the last words. Oh bro, come on, man. Man. Little Mary, bro, we saw her at Soda Springs and stuff, man. We carved her name into Independence Rock or whatever. Big Sag. Congratulations on completing Frail Monument. You've unlocked Frail Monument Epithets. Well, there's only one thing you can do for the death of a child. Harmonica. There we go. Alright, cool. Now we're fine, apparently. That's the game's rules. How the hell did they get ahead of us? That party should have stayed with us. We would have kept that girl safe. And we we gave her medicine, man. God. Did we do the wrong thing? Maybe we should have gave her herbs. But medicine seems like it would have been a better call. But maybe we were supposed to go north at that one thing. and It's either go south and finish the mu musician quest or go north and save the girl. I don't know. She didn't die there, though, so... Hello, travelers. Uh, I've set up my challenge again. Would you like to another try? How to fish. Fishing sucks. Hmm? 
Maybe you're supposed to wait till you hear the ding. Bruh. She gave us tons of bait, though. Nope, that didn't work. Fish doesn't even care. Three fish for 40 pounds? Damn. I think I did okay. That's interesting. Always curious to see how people actually did first. Makes the next part more suspenseful, yeah? Oh, prepared a little, little bit of a gift. Good. Isabel managed to catch 40 pounds of fish and brings it back to storage. Damn, she gave us a ton of free fish. Without a proper knife, she can't properly clean the fish. What do you mean? We got a freaking knife. We have a knife. It's not a proper one, but what's the point then? good for pelts maybe yeah <sighs> and let's go north try fishing again maybe we'll be able to sell fish and get money and then maybe possibly if we go to the columbia river we might have to pay somebody i don't know like how would we build a raft in this game can we just build one or do you think we have to buy like the wood or something Coffee time. All right, we're making our way through this area really quick. There's just a lot of stops. What was that in the background? Hold on. I'm, I'm out of here. I had to go talk to Victor for a minute. Turns out he's fine. No, it's not a raccoon, damn it. You know what it is. 
You know what we're about to go hunting. An area well known for its grizzly bear population. Perfect opportunity to hunt for food. Damn it. When we clicked here, I thought it was raccoons. Fourteen rounds? That's not enough rounds. We're gonna need bear pelts to get through here, boys. Oh, cool. It actually keeps track of where you walked. It's coming right for me! Ah! They take three shots. Kill it. I need a bigger gun. Freaking survival game. Carried 90, 75 back to base. Awesome. But was able to capture another 30 pounds. Ooh, the party has zero knives and one worn knife. Use it. Salvage some pelts in no time at all. Probably broke the knife, right? No, it might work again. All right, six pelts. That's awesome, dude. Let's go fishing. We might be able to sell a bunch of this stuff. If we get fish, we might be able to uh, sell them. Who the hell is that? Ahoy there! Stranger dressed in ragged clothes flags down the wagon. A deer carcass lies beside him. It looks as if it's been dead for a considerable amount of time. Got separated from my companions while hunting. We were heading to the Blue Mountains. So cold. Say, could you spare me some warm clothes or anything to keep me warm? I could offer you some of this deer meat. Party has zero sets of clothing and six pelts. Oh yeah? What kind of deer meat is it? Oh, sure, I caught it a few days back and cured it as best I could, but with my kindling so wet, it's powerfully hard to just make a fire. But it's good, I swear it. So how much y'all want? Man reveals several small steaks, partially cured meat. Well, sir, I just killed about the entire Wild West full of bears. I don't want him to die, though. I'll trade a pelt. Thank you kindly. Stranger seizes the pelts, wrapping himself in them to keep warm. He thanks the party profusely before hurrying off towards the Blue Mountains. Maybe this will be good for later. We might catch up with him. The man is but a speck in the distance when the sacks are open. The meat has been poorly cured indeed. Despite the cold weather, it's rotten and teeming with maggots. It should really be discarded. Catch up with his ass later. Nothing a harmonica can't fix.
scammed. We got scammed. But we didn't go all in. I was just trying to save a life, to be honest. How much bait do we have? 24? Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay, wow. We got tons of bait. And no matter what, we'll get fish from the trap, so that's good. That was like minimum... Dude, this minigame really sucks. They need to do something to make it so you know where the hell you're, like, flinging your line. A rainbow trout! Nice. Wow, 23. Look, chat, I made a number one. A wands in chat. Sag. Yeah, we should be able to catch some more fish, though. Through the, uh, the net. 40 pounds of fish and brings it all back to storage. Awesome. And that's an additional 20. We need a sharp knife to be able to process all that. So the, the dull knife is only for pelts, and it only gives you, like, maybe one more. Cool, so we were able to kick oh 55 fish. That's wonderful. Alright, food is fine. We're fine on food now. Get to them blue mountains, boys. Brother, yeah. What the hell's that? A wasp. Barbacy has a broken arm. How? The oxen buck and rear. Uh knocking Barbacy to the ground is the Wagon lurches to a stop. A large crack rings out from the wagon. Barbsy picks himself up, clutching his arm in pain. He'll be forced to nurse the injury for some time. It appears a twisted stick lies on the trail, shaped eerily like a snake, spooking the oxen. The oxen refuse to step near it. The stick is thrown into the grass, and Lizzie tries to calm the oxen down. On inspection, it appears the wagon has sustained damage in the commotion. While the wagon is still functional at this time, the party should consider repairing the damage before it gets worse. We should attempt to repair. Despite Lizzie's hard work, she fails to improve the condition of the wagon. Things are getting tough. Broken arm for 47 days. Ah, we're going to have to tough it out. This is the hardest part and things are only going to get worse. Party takes a moment to choose which trail to follow. Oh, probably the Oregon Trail. That'd be good. Oh, it's the cops. Oh, thank God. 
It's the frickin' uh, Oregon Militia, or whatever. Greetings, travelers. It's good to see your faces. Almost everybody's here. A truly remarkable effort. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Though we couldn't save everybody, this is frankly more than I could have ever expected. We have a sizable reward for you. Each of us pooled our resources so we'd have something to give you. Best of luck on your journey. You've received one dollar. Quest complete. The Peoria party. What we get? Ninety-two dollars. A musty, sour odor emanates from the wagon, betraying the poor quality of flour within. <sighs> uh, the bad flour may be salvageable, albeit unpalatable. Oh, to hell with it. Just card five. It's fine. We can lose five. $80 get. You remember playing this from a floppy drive? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, damaged wagon. Can we stop and get some stuff? No, we're at the Blue Mountains. Oh, my God, we're here. Oh, my God. The Blue Mountains are the final mountain range that the party must traverse before reaching Oregon. Despite the long, arduous journey, the travelers can't help but be awed by the ma a majesty of nature. Wow. There are a few folks admiring the view, otherwise idling nearby. This valley of the Grand Ronde is most beautiful sight I've seen in months. Abundant water and grass for grazing. If this valley is so fine, uh, the Willamette must be twice as fine. We'll be sitting pretty in our new homestead. We followed the edge of the desert from Fort Boise to the forbidding wall of the Blue Mountains. The hills were dreadful steep, locking both wheels and coming down slow, we got down safe. Poor animals though, no grass or water for days. Overlander. Since crossing the snake at Fort Boise, it's been just a mountain and desert. Dust deeper each day. Six inches at times, no tracks, just clouds of dust. Many cattle choked on the dust after swimming the river, then bled and died. Oh no. You don't say, sir. <laughs> Okay, let's trade. You know, actually, wait, let's take a look at the map. Oh, see what it should show us what we have next. Like, is it a river crossing? Because I'd love to sell pelts, but. We should sell the fish, though. Stop it, sir. You're making me blush. All right, sell 55 fish at two dollars per fish. God. Well, 100 bucks is 100 bucks. We're gonna need that. trade you bait.
A worn knife? Uh, we might want that for pelts. What happened to Tan? I don't know. People come and go as they have time. Nobody's required to be here. Although I wish I could change that law. But you know, come and go as you please. When you hear your family, like the mob, you know? <laughs> oh, the medicine's gonna be, yeah. The medicine and the toolboxes are gonna be unaffordable. Or not good deals. I'll trade a fish trap. Oh boy, now we gotta get to the fort. Yeah, we'll just... We got coffee. We got plenty of coffee, right? Chat, should we make a shirt that says, Stop it, sir, you're making me blush? <laughs> just a hoodie that just says that in like 8-bit text. Stop it, sir. You are making me blunt. None of you would buy that. You're not buying it. One of you is going to get pulled over and asked to step out of the vehicle. Uh, and then you'll be let go. Even though it's stolen. Well, we were going to bring you downtown, but stop it, sir. You're making me blush. You're free to go. Thanks, officer. All right, time to go to Fort Nez Pierce. On the east bank of the Columbia River, Fort Nez Pierce offers travelers a chance to resupply before the final stretch. Collect herbs and pelts. We'll try. There could be stuff in there. Let's go check it. The party sets out again, entering the final stretch. No crazy river crossings or anything. It's been a long and late laborious voyage, but it's nearly over. Alt fellows. Ye shall go no further. To continue on, ye must assist me. An affliction most foul hath cursed me. One of insufficient inspiration. Your trap trap travails shall serve as a basis for my epic. Homer. Oh. He's writing Homer's Odyssey. As a reward. Oh, it's going to be. Oh, fire up the brains. So I can feel it coming. As a reward, not only shall I let ye pass unimpeded, but also. But all shall know your names. Excellent. I knew ye would see reason. Tell me, what event during your travels has been the most important one full of intrigue and pathos uh probably when victor died at uh snake river but that's not listed so apparently no one gave an f about him all right uh i cared what one has been the most important Wait, that was called South Pass, right? Wait, is this a yes or no, or is this just like... Is he like... <laughs> like, are we doing a exiting the Oregon Trail user survey? Like, give your feedback to improve the trail. Your, your feedback is important to us. Please stay on the line. I think it was South Pass. I, I don't know if there's an actual right or wrong answer here. 
Who should tell the story, Barbsy? It was the dark and stormy night. No, it wasn't. Such dangers ye have faced. Wait. It's awfully familiar. <laughs> Crossing the Great Barrier to the West, you and yours have toiled across plains to reach where ye are now. Yes, this shall make for an epic that will echo throughout my ages. Read those, I read by those, read by those for centuries to come. My thanks, heroes. I shall let ye pass. I shan't keep such a heroic folk from any future good ye may do. Be sure to regale me with your tales of in your future. Thank you, Barbzy 2.0. Facing the opposite way. Alright, do we have anything for hygiene? Free clothes, thank god. The party notices a sickly looking woman standing near a broken down wagon. Don't you tell me that that's that woman. Oh, thank goodness I spotted you when I did. There's no sign of the woman's companions, if she has any. The party's unsure of what to make to her. Should someone offer her assistance? That's bait. Bait. Talk to Grace? But then also help... Please, if you could spare me some clean clothes, I'd be gr greatly obliged. Oh, ma'am. Given the state of her wagon, a change of clothes hardly seems adequate to eat Grace's condition. Ma'am, we just used the last of our clothes. But here, Barbsy, give her a broken hand. Are you in trouble? Are you in trouble, ma'am? We would happily offer assistance if we can. We we know the number to nine one one. Most kind of you. I'm trying to make my way back east. My poor husband, he... Grace will not survive long on her own. If she's traveling the opposite direction, there's not much that can be done for her. Barbsy resolves to share some comforting words with her before they part. Ma'am, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, thanks very much. I, I shall not forget your charitable spirit. Wait, I'm not done here. Wait, the hell? I still had questions. All right, well, F's in the chat. She's dead. Nice job, Barbsy. Meanwhile, <laughs> within with almost within the same screen, some other person. Please, strangers, I need help. We were attacked by bandits, and our wagon was destroyed. My horse, horse and I survived, but I'm injured. Can you spare any medicine? Loot the wagon. Fine. How come the other lady we couldn't loot, but this one we could? Thank you so much, strangers. You can't know what this means to me. Feel free to salvage what you can from the wagon. I need to rest a moment. The wagon is full of bullet holes from looking at it. It's amazing the woman survived at all. Goods may be salvaged by someone with a keen eye for carpentry. What the hell? The other woman needed clothes. She wandered back east, and she's going to die. Now we're going to take this woman's uh, axle wheel? Wheel. Uh, Isabel, you take it. Not going to risk it. We're good. Bye. Now we could go south and get some more berries. Bye, ma'am. Yeah, bear ease.
A small fishing hole comes into view. Go fishing. Take some coffee and send one of these ladies. Send Lizzie. Speckled Dace? Wow. Alright. Wow, 80 pounds of fish. Nice. Plus another 20, I think, from the trap. Yeah, that was much better casting that time. Good. Got something good we can trade. We're going south next time. Alright, let's go... What do we got? 95 fish? Damn, nice. Moose. We don't have any ammo. We do. Lizzie, you go now. pounds plus another 30 I think from traps dude this is just like the first run in the game after this everything gets harder like with some of the other expeditions you can do like moving the ammo and all that other stuff it's it's the game's only gonna get more interesting because it's only gonna get harder after this run like I'm pretty sure we could make it Damn, six plus pelts? Nice. Oh, the worn knife broke finally, but... Good, we're ready for any sort of crazy river crossing. Wagon lurches to a stop with an almighty crack as the wheel strikes a rock sticking out of the dirt. Sudden movement of the wheel, questing the rock has cracked the wagon's front axle and damaged the wagon bed. The axle can be used if done carefully, but the party should consider repairing the damage before things get worse. Damn. What's up, Bubsy? Thanks for the t uh, 10 months, bro. Welcome. Oh 
man. We're taking some heavy damage. We need those fish to trade, bro. Should be an easy fix. Oh boy. Um to fix a two by two you could yeah using the wheel to repair would only repair one slot though considering we just took a axle damage I want to save it prevents big damage oh, man the wagon is wrecked All right. Isabel, go. Don't you fall. Uh, the party's water supplies run low. Oh, this th this thing again. Take a quick coffee. Actually, we're almost to the fort. Let's just push it. Just push it, people. Yeah, I can use medicine for the broken arm. But I also want to keep it for trade and random events. Thank God we pulled safely into the fort. We're good. We're good. Look at these wrecked wagons, dude. Party rolls towards Fort Nez Pierce, keen to take refuge from the mountain's frigid winds. Oh, we got 50 extra bucks. Nice. Frickin' sweet. Okay, let's see. Fortress is an imposing structure. Several walls are layered at the outskirts, serving an impenetrable defense. Raid is only conducted through a small hole in the inner wall, limiting how many people can have access to the fort interior. Weird, okay. Hi, George. Fort's named after Nez Pierce people, but it's actually located in the traditional lands of the Walla Walla. Boy, I sure hope someone was fired for that blunder. Simpsons reference. Joseph, we hold animal an annual expeditions into snake country from the fort. We started doing it after Donald McKenzie proved it was worthwhile fur trapping venture. My cousin Catherine was one of the six children orphaned and left at Whitman's mission. Lived with them for three years until the massacre last November. She survived snake bites, stampedes, falls, fights, not to mention a massacre. Oloquat. You ask about what happened at the mission. I ask you why Dr. Whitman's medicine cured white children, but not the children of my people. The missionaries spread the measles to us and threatened our way of life. George Bush. Hello, travelers. It would seem the government, in all its infinite wisdom, doesn't want my business in Oregon. The fickle fools, jo George Bush was never one to take a lashing. 
I've called in a favor for some old business pals from Hudson's. We're heading north instead. Good luck to you. Okay. Hmm. Toolboxes for damn sure. We'll probably trade bullets as best we can and then just buy more ammo. Too bad we can't uh, haggle with the uh, shop owner. Don't forget about the blacksmith, true. Now we need that. Now we need the blacksmith. Um. Let's actually check the price on that. Uh, welcome, what can I do for you? Looks like the trail's been hard on your wagon. Lady, you don't know the story. Fully repair the wagon for $53. Oh, hell yeah. Good price. Yeah, whole thing, please. That's totally worth it. I think we'll just trade the fish. We can sell for two dollars per fish times ninety five. To do it. None of that's good. Uh, gonna be unlikely. And I'll trade ammo, ma'am. Nice to have the wagon back in working condition. All right, let's get some medical attention. Oh, not that one. The herbal remedy. We'll do that ourselves. Okay, let's do the Frank. All right, let's go buy some stuff in the store. All right, let's get clothing for sure. Wagon grease for sure. save money though for the um we need to buy something with cash but uh i mean can't buy anything if we die so
we got 146 flour, 105 meat. We can find things out on the trail. We got medicine, herbal remedies we can use. I'd say we're in pretty good shape considering all the beating that we've taken. How's the group? Eh. Stamina's low, but we'll just take some cop. We'll take some coffee when we leave. All right, let's go. The Dallas, where the trail finally meets the banks of the Columbia River. Only the final difficult stretch lies ahead. No rest? No, we have coffee. Spring for hygiene or undiscovered? Undiscovered, then hunting for pelts. Actually, no. Gathering for food, hunting for pelts, and then the Dallas. Party leaves the safety of Fort Nez Pierce, feeling themselves from the final leg of the Oregon Trail. Looming clouds give out, showering the wagon in a constant blanket of rain. Mood is somber as the wagon's wheels slog over the muddy ground. At last, the rain clears and the sun returns to the trail. All right. Did you miss the part where we raft down the river? No, apparently that's coming up. Chat wants me to do it. We can try. Rest from the arduous journey, one of the oxen breaks free of its yoke and dashes off into the trail. Retrieving the ox could take a lot of time and would require someone skilled at tracking. He thinks it would be possible to lure the ox, ox back instead of tracking it down. Alright, lure it back. Takes a bucket of grain and shakes it and calls to the ox, making as much noise as possible. That's what I thought. Get back in line. Lizzie keeps calling until the stray animal follows the sound of food <coughs> and returns to the wagon. While it eats, Lizzie slips the yoke back on the wagon. The wagon's ready once more. Good. Good to go. Over there. Over there what? Isabel spots a young sapling on the side of the trail. If cut properly and stripped, it might serve as a strong wagon tongue. But that'll take some time. Who should cut the sapling? Isabel tries to cut and strip the sapling, but after a few hours, it's evident that it won't hold up the rigors of being a wagon tongue. Project's abandoned. Alright, we got Sag. Let's do... Uh, we're clearing out the single uses. Harmonica. Wagon grease. This is our next destination.
Yeah. This one's not going to be too too difficult, I think. Well, it depends on the random events. Time to hunt. Barbsy's got uh, a lot of stamina. We need that uh, pelts and the meat. I guess the uh, skill level maybe gives you more time or lets you move faster. Boom, headshot. I don't think I can carry much more than this. I'm just going to go ahead and... Holy hell. 100 pounds plus we got some from the trap. After a successful hunt, he carries 100 pounds of meat back to storage. And an additional 30 from the trap. Them pelts, brother. Nice. And on to gathering now. Or we could go hunting, which could get us more money for pelts. We could probably buy stuff from the Dallas. If we get three sprigs of herbal remedy, we get 49 bucks. But if we get the pelts, that's like hundreds of dollars. Well, we could hunt here too. Let's go with, yeah, let's go this way, because we'll get more money. We'll do the gathering, which will make us money, and then we'll do the hunting, which will make us money. Oh, boy. Use bacon grease. What kind of gathering? We're doing magic, the gathering. Find another way around. Use Isabel. Successfully found a way around. Excellent. Okay, let's get coffee. Yeah, we're gonna use all this extra money we find to just use coffee. We're gonna buy coffee. Kitty. Harvest. Isabel again. Wow. I go to the hunting ground. Looks like the wagon took some damage. Isabel, go. Mission failed. Wow, it actually worked. Let's inspect the ox. Lizzie inspects the beast and from her experience with farm animals determines the injury is only a sprain and should they let it rest for the remainder of the day the oxen will be healthy again. Let's rest. The ox injury is wrapped in the 
and the wagon stops for the night. In the morning, the ox seems much better and is able to walk again without much complaint. Bears. Got him. Target down. All right, time for hunting. I think we're okay. You know, it'd be interesting is if um, hygiene also affected hunting. You know, because they could smell you coming. Okay, uh, let's do this. Get some more pelts. Be millionaires. Nice. 60 pounds, and we should have a trap. Yep. Get them pelts. Plus three, nice. That brings us up to... Holy hell. We should have used that at Snake River. If you guys do this, you you guys got to make sure you have a ton of uh, pelts ready for the Snake River crossings, no matter which way you go. Ah. Barbsy let out a cry of pain and clutches his leg. Unable to move, it appears he has a cramp. Stop him, rest. Party pauses to give Barbsy some time to recover. For some time, the leg abates and he feels well enough to continue walking. Time to put Barbsy down. It was four hours, chat. And for the uh, end of the leg of the race, you need like harmonica, like like crazy. Uh, let's do close. Like some of the oxen are tired. Tripping over a small bump in the rough ground, Isabel finds herself in the dust. A little sore, she picks herself up and keeps walking. Uh oh. Pulling into town. Wow, look at that. Pretty. As the party crests the final rise of the Dallas, vast swaths of Oregon County appear ahead. The journey is nearly over. All right. No, no, no store here. Uh oh. Here's some people are willing to trade. What should be done? Let's chat first. Many travelers have gathered around, either waiting for the courage to finish their journey or preparing for the long trip back east. Alexander. Last hundred miles to Willamette Valley are the roughest. Either rafting down the Columbia River or driving your wagon th over the Cascades. My advice is to hire a guide. I know a Cayuse man who was great at navigating the river. 
My cousin Lydia engaged uh, passage down the Columbia with some uh, KU guides with a canoe of 17 people and luggage. The wind blew so heavy they had to lay by. Near dark, high waves came up over the heads. Finally, they made it to shore safely. Toll collector. I collect the tolls for the Barlow Road, a bargain at twice the price. Till last year, the Overlander Trail had no choice. Everyone floated the Columbia. Now with Mr. Barlow's new road, you can drive your wagon right into Oregon City. Ah. And what do we have for money? Seventy-six dollars. Uh huh. Well, chat wants me to take the Columbia, so we could manage to take the toll road, but we're gonna have to do the Columbia. You can still see some of the tracks from the wagons around Dallas, really. We might be able to trade those coins now, but I, I was told that if we get to the end with the coins, although I think we need 10, but I'm not sure how it works. All right, let's see. Wang Grease, that's going to be way too expensive. We might want to keep all these pelts for the river. I'll trade a medicine, though. Thirty bullets. Oh, my God. Tiger, I'm sure your parents are very proud of you. That's probably the only thing that they'll be able to put on your graduation stickers. Congratulations. Trading flour. I'll take the uh, bullets. I don't want to trade these medallions. We've come this far. I don't want to trade them. I have tons of food. Yeah, I can use it to trade other things. All right, let's see. We still got to get the Columbia River, and we might need to trade for money or something for it. Yeah, it wants to go the Columbia route. After months of travel, the group must resolve on a final approach to Oregon. Will they venture north and brave the Columbia River Rapids or south along the overland route via the Barlow Toll Road? Party weighs their options soberly. Yeah, it wants to go to the Columbia River. If we go through the toll road, we don't get the uh, we don't get the uh, the the final mini game going down the Columbia. The mighty Columbia River flows past Oregon City, offers a raft route for the final stretch, 25 miles. Oregon City stands as the final destination on the trail, offering a new life and opportunities for anyone who could make it. Now, Columbia River, it is. Our people are resting every night in the wagons and stuff. 
You can see their stamina with the lightning bolt. Rafting to Columbia River has been a long tradition, a traditional mean of reaching Oregon, and one that the party has decided to risk. They press northward towards the river launch point. Oh boy, look at that, look at that trail. That is bumping. Dressed out under the strain of one of the party's faithful beasts collapsed to the ground and breathes its last breast. The party considers bearing the ox out of respect for its service to discourage scavengers on the trail. Alternatively, the ox, the ox carcass could be dressed out and the meat added to the supply. Both options would take time and offer an opportunity to rest. What should be done? Eh, bury him. The party takes the time to prepare a grave for the ox and mound covered in rocks. It seems the least could be done for the loyal animal. And that means one less price we have to pay when it comes to going down that river. Just saying. Although it would have been useful to have them on the farm. The wagon bed and canopy have been damaged by the rough trail. Uh, oh. Uh, let's see. The party could consider repairing the damage before things get worse. All right, she did it. Nice work. Isabel needs some Folgers. All right, let's use uh, wagon grease now. We're close, and then let's do... checks what's going on heavy clouds rolling quickly and soon thereafter dump the rain ground quickly grows wet and muddy under the relentless rain. Uh oh, this is going to make it bad for the river crossing. The party trudges through the sticky muck, wholly demoralizing and dirty experience, and the party begins to feel depressed and dirty. After some time, the rain begins to clear and the ground begins to dry. The party can now continue on and peat. Any good games in the Steam sale? Uh, we've been playing quite a few good games recently on the channel. I would say uh, Valheim would be a fantastic survival game to get. Soma, maybe? I recently played that for Halloween, and that was cool. Oh boy, it begins. The roar of rapids reaches the party's ears. The sounds of the Columbia River are soon all that can be heard. Oh, this is it. Apprehensive immigrants prepare their wagons for the journey down the Columbia River. Rafting the Columbia is a chancy proposition. Steering clear of all flotsam would be trouble enough, even without the Russian rapids to contend with. Best of luck. You ask me, you're mad to be taking such a risk at this. And after coming so far, the Columbia River is not known for mercy. Most folk don't come this way, but when you can't afford Barlow's toll, there's hardly an alternative. I don't know how much he was charging. Trade supplies. Perhaps medicine. Well, after this, aren't we just in Oregon?
Could take over the town if I had enough ammo. Well, we gotta get to Oregon City or whatever it is called. Oregon... Camp Oregon, whatever. The... Whatever, let's just go. The party approaches the river. The wagon is cocked and... Wait, what? Where the hell do we... Would this have just happened if we... Damn it, I could have went to Oregon with hundreds of dollars. We could have gambled it. We could have gotten gambling. Damn it. Could have sell... Alright, sell your pelts when you get to the, to the rapid preparation so you can roll in with ammo and money. Alright, anyway. Uh, raft constructed. His preparations are made to raft down the mighty Columbia. Damn it. I got scammed. Oh, dear God. The final battle. We gotta put on some battle music for this. Hold on. Are you all ready? It's happening. Yep, this is it. Here we go. Hell yeah. Rafting complete. The party returns to the trail wet and exhausted. Barlow can go straight to f with his $3 toll. I saved $3. Now let's get to Oregon City. Where the grass is green in the world. Yeah. Oregon City stands as the final destination on the trail, offering a new life and opportunities for anyone who can make it. Let's go hunting one last time. Avoid a broken arm. All right, let's see. How's everybody doing? Fine. Ugh.
Okay, well, she did it. I'm surprised. That's interesting. I did not think she'd be able to do that. Lizzie lays the deer low. Final Fantasy VII music. Favorite game as a kid. Respect. The carcass is dressed out and the meat collected along with the antler of velvet. Wow, we're, we're rolling into Oregon with meat. Gonna make Arby's jealous. We want Gates of Hell? Dude, there was a two-hour video that went up earlier today. Did you not see it? Literally two hours, dude. <clears throat> a small mound of earth sits atop the path flex of trail dust strewn about by the wind. Brown has been disturbed recently, perhaps to bury a supply cache or something else. One might dig up the mound to uncover what lies below or flatten the earth to hide it forever. Keep going. Isabel pats down the mound of dirt, easing the sight from view and memory. Nah, we're not we're not bothering with disease. Isabel checks the bags of flour and recoils it in disgust. It's infested with weevils. Guard it. Fine. Dressed out and under strain, one of the party's faithful beast collapses to the ground and breathes its last breath. Bury it. Winter in 52 days. Wow, we could have really gone a lot slower in this game, but I think we did a good job of... ...gaining course. Uh, Barb, wait, who's got stamina? No more coffee. We really don't have to go hunting, but, you know. I want those pelts and I want that money. He was coming right for me. Had had to take the shot. Oh, he's coming right for me. Come right for me. My God, Oregon's a dangerous place. Hundred and ten pounds of meat was only able to carry seventy five. But we got an extra thirty. Oh, the pelts would be worth good money. Okay, let's see. No more harmonicas. When I was told to stop acting like a flamingo, I had to put my foot down. Good and good. Well, it's nice to see Morgan's in the wagon train. Birds. Bro spotted. Barbsy notices one of the oxen is walking a little lamely and decides to tend to it to ensure no harm will come. Let Lizzie do it, dude. She's the far...
The ox kicks him in the stomach as his legs lifted up to be investigated. He loses his lunch. Bro, we're gonna we're gonna come into Oregon with a hell a hell of a barbecue. Five, four. Holy hell. Not now. Heavy clouds rolling quickly and soon thereafter dump the rain. I only have a mile to go. Frickin' Oregon, brother. There's something up ahead. Hooray. Oregon City. After months of turmoil and privation, fearsome dangers. Matchless wonder, the party has finally made it to Willamette Valley. You've unlocked a new journey. Oregon or bust, brave the most difficult version of the trail in this ultimate test of knowledge, planning, and decision making. Oh damn. Wagon leader, an even higher difficulty has just been unlocked. This was just like noob mode. We unlock television. Great. Congratulations. Your party has reached Oregon City. Seven out of eight route challenges completed. Congratulations. You made it to Oregon. The journey was long and a challenging one, but your party can look forward to a new life in Willamette Valley. September 27th, 1849. We unlocked a grandfather clock. I think you can bring that with in the wagon. I don't know what you get for it, though. Oh, wow. This shows the journey we took. Sweet. 2,183 miles. Total deaths, one person. I don't know who that person is, so that's a fake misrepresentation of our community. What the hell? Died of dysentery zero times. Made it to Oregon three. Oh, this is your totals. Game completion. We've only completed 20% of the game because there's all these other quests you can do about like transporting ammunition and like TNT and stuff for mining. Wow. Wow. Wait, it's not over yet. Try out the next journey, Lost Hollow. Stephen Meek, ahead of an enormous wagon train, has led his party astray. Help them survive in the perils of the desert. Damn, dude, they, they've just got just tons of content in this. The one about transporting TNT, the one about being a native person, teaching your son, or doing some sort of rite of passage. The Lost Hollow one, surviving in the desert. This is badass, dude. No, I don't want to play now. I want to go back to the menu. Damn. It'll be interesting. There's going to be a hell of a lot of interesting ones. We got to we got to keep playing this game. Like it goes beyond the Oregon Trail. Here are the other journeys. So this is just what we did now, and it took like what? Nine hours to do? Then there's the prologue, which is just like a little tutorial. 
We still have to unlock Winter Migration. There's the Nature Trail, Tranquil Trail, Oregon or Bust, which is like super hard mode, California Trail, Push West. These are the survival journeys. Bitter Winter, Kaboom, and Lost Hollow. Challenge modes. Oh yeah, hell yeah. We can do the uh, Oregon, the Columbia River again. Fall tail Rendezvous, Fur Trade. Ooh. We gotta keep playing this more, dude. This is good. So our new best was 18,835. So I don't know what gives you points, but probably speed and health or whatever. What the hell's the or what's the grandfather clock that we unlocked? I think you redeem tokens by uh, There's different like paintings for the game too, so you can make it look at various levels of quality. That's pretty amazing. Now, we're we're definitely coming back to play the harder mode and also the journeys, which seem pretty cool. Like they're a lot shorter, but they're a lot harder. Definitely need to play some of these. Like Oregon or Bust and the Adventure ones seem like a lot of fun. But also Death Mode. Where you could possibly die to death. Well, that's it for today's stream, guys. Thank you very much for watching the exciting conclusion of the Oregon Trail. But we will be back to do some of the other things and play on a harder mode. So even though we've done our first journey, that doesn't mean we're done. Seems to be a hell of a lot more to this game including, like I mentioned, the Kaboom survival one. There's, like, other ways to survive in the desert. There's other ways to go across the Oregon Trail to make it even harder and to also do other parts of the journey transporting different things, which is well above and beyond. But what a fantastic game it's been so far. All right. I'll see you all tomorrow morning for Valheim on the channel. So uh, stay in the chat, and you'll be redirected to that stream, and I'll see you all tomorrow. i got to get started on some other projects and whatnot, so... I'll see you all then. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Crazy Dinosaur Man out. We did it. We made it to Oregon. Sorry, Victor. But we'll, uh, we'll argue your life in court. We'll, we'll get you out of that fake RNG jail. All right. Thanks for the support. See you all next time. Bye.